then we're coming up to the old canal again. There's a cemetery back uh, coming up. Uh, you see oyster spat uh, cages in the background. Heading towards Allen's Point and the inner part of Denny's Basin. Uh, we're just leaving the stratified drift deposits. Um, you can see them there, uh, partially exposed uh, cliffs. Very small channels uh, between the barrier into the inner uh, lagoons. Looks like fairly stagnant water though. There's a cemetery just coming into view now and uh, coming up towards Allen's Point. Again, you've got a fair bit of uh, partially stabilized cliff. Uh, it's very sandy. Just a slight dip in and out. Going into Allen's Cove. Kenzie's Cove. At Mackenzie's uh, Cove, there's a bit of an island here, Plaster Island, uh, connected by a uh, barrier beach. It's uh, vegetated, it's mostly sand, uh, dune vegetation. The time is 12.47. As we come around uh, Plaster Island, Uh, we can see that barrier, it's quite sandy. Much less uh, cobble boulder just in that area, but then we're starting to pick it up again as we get closer. Uh, some uh, clear cut uh, tree uh, logging in the back shore. Uh, there's a dirt road all along this part, this part of the um, Denny's Basin. We're getting into the Horton Group, uh, Carboniferous Rocks uh, now, and so the uh, sediment type is starting to change again. So you've still got a fair bit of sand, you're starting to pick up more and more cobble and uh, boulder material. We're into McLean's Cove at uh, 1248. Heading out is a low fringing beach, some boat ramps along this part. Uh, mixed sand pebble beach. Uh, yeah, okay. We'll just come across over to McLean's Island. Now there's quite a bit of shoal water in between the mainland and those islands off McLean's Cove. Uh, it's deeper just by the island though. The island itself has a bit more relief. There's a uh, partially stabilized uh, cliff in the back shore, less than five meters height, and uh, sand and pebble in the foreshore area. And then offshore, you get a lot of submerged uh, pebble cobble material. Not so much boulders, but there are some boulders. And uh, coming around the other part of McLean's Island over to Black Island, so you've got the low fringing uh, beach again. Fairly homogeneous, well sorted material, small barrier at the one end. And it's 1249 and we're flying at 400 feet at 80 knots. Coming across the Black Island. Again, there's a small spit at the, uh, I guess the south uh, east end. And then uh, on the other part, it's more of a heterogeneous uh, pebble cobble material on the beach. And then offshore, you're getting into a mixture again. There's quite a, an apron of uh, shallow water around it. And then the channel between that and uh, Stumpy Cove uh, seems to be a little bit deeper. And we'll just circle just slightly and come over onto the main shore again. That 
at uh, Plaster Island, you can see why it's there. It's uh, exposed to gypsum uh, holding it in place. Now we're just coming up onto the uh, the main part of the shore again. Just uh, Stumpy Cove in the foreground, you can see the extensive shallow water uh, sand deposits. The end of this island which shelters the cove, there's a vegetated uh, shore and a narrow fringing sand beach, a bit of wetland in behind uh, dune grass. The island itself is very low lying. Heading up uh, into Effie's Cove. Uh, Effie's Cove, very small cove. Um, again, poorly developed beaches, some wharf uh, and housing, cottages. Time is 15, uh, 12.52, sorry, 15.52 uh, GMT time. Uh, we're just in Effie's Cove. Uh, the geology around here has switched from a stratified drift to a heart group, and the topography and the sediments reflect that. Um, see, poorly developed uh, beaches, uh, wetland uh, in behind, very stagnant marsh here, sort of in behind the barriers. And uh, it's shallow in the offshore, but not too, not too, not as much of an apron of cobble material as we've seen before. Going uh, around Eagle Point right now, and then up into the uh, River Denny area. Uh, there's a fair bit of pollution in the area, and um, it's threatening the oyster fishery farther into Denny's uh, basin. Um, as we come around the Eagle Point and into the floodplain area, where again uh, we've gone by a uh, certainly a large stratified drift deposit, but. Uh, we're still on most of the Carboniferous rocks. There you can see some gypsum coming into view along the shore. Um, bedrock uh, shores along the edge of the river. We'll follow the uh, sort of the north, north side of the river Denny's looking across at more of the farmland area. You see the water uh, down below us is very shallow. You can see the channels. It's very, uh, a lot of uh, sort of vegetated mat in the water, brownish color along the channel margins. Uh, you just barely make it up probably in the video, in the monitor, but dark color, uh, well vegetated, maybe this is an indication of the pollution, I'm not sure. In the back shore, it's sort of wetland. the uh, floodplain of the River Denny's uh, up uh, along here. Uh, the flow is uh, following the main channel. You can see it almost looks like it's been dug out in this area just up here. Um, wetland vegetation all along uh, the side. Uh, fairly well uh, constrained channel and then very shallow uh, water on the uh, north side of that channel. We come into the uh, area around Eden and the floodplain around the Eden. 